What's going on guys, Nate the Great coming at you. It's a little bit dark in here. Sun's always on the other side during the daytime, but just wanted to come on here and do a book review. Haven't done one for a little bit. Let me just put this down right here. So yes, I just finished up um, this book. It's called The ABCs of Success. Okay, The ABCs of Success by Bob Proctor. For those of you who don't know who Bob Proctor is, he's literally like the guru of paradigm shifts, law of attraction, you name it. So it's a very, very deep uh, spectrum, to say the least, of personal development. It's, it's not just self-help or anything like that. Like This is really deep stuff. So if you're looking to get into any of that, Bob Proctor. All right, search him up on Google. You'll literally find things. He has long, long videos, to say the least. Like Typically, his videos are about an hour long, at least. And he was actually, um, if, if you're big into personal development, you'll understand who I'm talking about. But, you know, there, there was Napoleon Hill, who was one of like the gurus way back in the day. Um, I think like in the early 1900s, to be honest, even in the late 1800s. And then he passed on his ideas, his thoughts, the way he sort of did things to a guy named Earl Nightingale, right? Earl Nightingale was very... Um, I forget the name of the video, but he was very well known for, um, I think he, I don't, I don't think it was a secret, but he was very well known for this uh, one saying that he did. Um, if you look up Earl Nightingale on uh, YouTube, it'll pop up though. And then Earl Nightingale was the one that, you know, talked about Proctor and is, and is really the one that uh, gave him the wisdom that he had. And Bob Proctor lives by this book called Think and Grow Rich. Like every single day he has it with him. I could talk all day about Bob, but um, obviously this is just about a book review. So The ABCs of Success, this is a great book, a really great read. Honestly, like if you're looking to get into personal development and self-help books, I recommend reading this. I'm not saying it has to be the first one. It can be if you want. It's that good. And it's not so, so deep. Like literally the ABCs of success. I mean, what comes to mind when you think about that? You think about, oh, so it must teach success principles from A to Z. Exactly. So literally, I mean, this book right here, as you can see, um, it talks about like dreams, right? So like D, it's got dreams. It's sort of every, every single uh, letter it goes through, um, you know, he sort of relates a story with it, right? Because stories are relatable. And of course, uh, for, you know, for this one right here, it's called Red Buick Convertible. I'll just read a little bit of it. It says, I am forever talking about goals and the role they play in our lives. It's so important to understand the importance of a goal. It's not so much the goal that's important. It's the growth you experience and route to achieving your goal. That's the big deal, right? And then he sort of talks about like a uh, little story here that goes along with it. Without a goal, it becomes easy. In fact, quite logical to quit to quit trying every time the going gets a little tough. It is the image in your mind of a goal reach that keeps you re going regardless. I came across an excellent story that illustrates the basic truth. It involved a young lady named Gertrude Elder. Up until the year 1926, no woman had ever swum the English Canal. Then an automobile company offered a red Buick convertible automobile in 2000 in cash to the first woman who, who could accomplish this feat. That's crazy, man. A 19-year-old American girl named Gertrude Outerl wanted the automobile. She could see herself with it already. This image caused her to decide to swim the English Canal in order to get it. Partway across the canal, her body strength began to give out, and she felt she couldn't swim one more stroke, right? So you're battling in your mind, like, I can't go. Like, I'm about to, I'm about to tap out, right? You may have some idea of how Gertrude must have felt. But as she lay there waiting to be taken out of the water, she closed her eyes and before her imagination passed an image of herself sitting in this red Buick convertible. Uh, seeing herself in possession of her gold gave her a new surge of strength and she didn't stop again until she felt the sand of the opposite shore under her feet. Swimming the canal was not Gertrude Eldor's goal. The red Buick convertible was her goal. Swimming the canal is what she had to do to reach her goal. The image of the goal gave her the necessary strength to keep going. It worked for her and it will work for you if you have a goal. So to recap, to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream, not only plan, but also what? Believe. What we need is more people who specialize in the impossible. So 
that right there is just a section on dreams, right? Obviously, having a goal is important. You can see the law of, of manifestation goes into that. Like she manifested um, wanting that car. And literally, like it's one thing to have a goal. It's another thing to actually act on that goal, right? Or it's another thing to have a dream. It's another thing to have a goal. It's another thing to act on the goal in a dream. I'm telling you, it all comes down to execution at the end of the day. So again, the ABCs of success, the essential principles from America's greatest prosperity teacher, Bob Proctor. There's been reviews by Larry King, the television and radio host. And, you know, again, you know, uh, a former prodigy of personal development pioneer, Earl Nightingale. Proctor first built a widely successful business career and then an internationally successful speaking career. Now discover for yourself why he has inspired countless audiences. Great, great book. Again, I recommend it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this book review video. Leave a comment below. Uh, show me some love. I really appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm dropping content as much as I can. Um, at the end of the day, content is king. And I want to make you guys, of course, obviously happy. And if I can sort of shorten the learning curve a little bit for you, especially the millennials that follow me, I'm telling you, I'd love to do so. So again, I appreciate you guys. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm reading a book now called, what's it called? Talk Like Ted. Uh, basically, it's the, I don't want to show it to you yet, but The Nine Public Speaking Secrets of the World's Top Minds. Really great book. I'm not sure if you've ever uh, listened or tuned into any TED Talks, but I highly recommend checking it out. But anyways, guys, appreciate you for watching. Hope you're having a great weekend. Let's get it.